guys, welcome to the NCC up here in Brisbane. I'm Nathan Lyon and I'm here to talk to you about off-spin bowling today. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to teach you a few things here and there about uh, my, my skill and my trade. Number one tip for kids learning to bowl spin is the big thing is trying to spin the ball. That's what our job is as spin bowlers. We're trying to spin the ball to try and do the batsman off the, off the wicket. Uh, my grip's going to be a little bit different to you young guys out there, so um, the young kids out there probably is more likely to have three, three fingers on the ball and really try and spin up the back of the ball, where if you're a little bit bigger like myself and got big hands, my grip is usually two fingers on the ball and really try and spin up the back of the ball so it's coming out the top of your finger and going down like that towards the batsman. My, my wrist position for a normal stock off break is pr it's pretty simple. It's pr cock it straight back to I cock it straight back to myself, and when I'm releasing the ball, it's coming out over the top of like that. So it's not overly too hard. All my wrist is doing is going back and forward. It's not rocket science. It's just a little little bit of tip that uh, may help you spin up the back of the ball. I'm trying right now up here at the NCC, trying to come up with a few different things, uh, a few different balls to bowl. I'm trying to bowl a back spinner at the moment, which is simply my grip is similar, but I push the ball back in my hand, thumb comes on the ball. Instead of going over the top of the ball, I'm coming down the back of the ball, which really releases the ball out like that, so it's spinning backwards and hopefully hitting the pitch and going the other way. For spinners, we don't usually have to run in that far compared to the fast bowlers, so uh, my, my run up is simply seven steps. To, uh, from back from the stumps and it's usually pretty pretty casual. I don't uh, try and run in or anything. I just do what's natural for me is simply walk in until I get to the mark and really start to bowl the ball. So it's pretty cruisy. Yeah! Oh, they like it. It's out. Really important for me to bowl. Uh, when I'm bowling well, I'm bowling pretty side on at the crease as a, as a normal spinner. My delivery stance is quite small. My shoulders are going towards the target and the big thing is I'm powering up off my back foot and spending a lot of time on my front foot but I'm going up over the ball like that. So my shoulders are going up, they're not going around and by my shoulders going up like that I'm putting spin on the ball, over spin on the ball which helps, helps me get some bounce. The beauty about spin bowlers, we have to play mind game with some batsmen. So I can bowl over the wicket here and I usually bowl around the wicket as well. The difference between that is the different angles. I can bowl here into a right handed batsman. I'm looking to pitch just outside the off stump and trying to turn the ball back into the off stump. But then I can come around here and change the whole thing. It's a metre and a half pretty much big difference between the different release points of the bowler. I'm trying to land the ball on the stumps and still trying to hit middle and off stump. Just, uh, by pitching it in line with the stumps, brings in more ways to get uh, wickets. Yeah, it's come off the bat, and that's brilliantly caught. It's just uh, always trying to hit the spin to hit the stumps, especially around the off and middle stump. Yeah! As an off spin bowler, I really enjoy bowling the left hand batters. Uh, when when we have the chance to spin the ball away from the batsman, it really brings in your catches that slips. It's a big, big important thing. We're still trying to land the ball on the stumps, but with the left hand and trying to spin it away to try to take the outside edge and hopefully their slips uh, can hang on to a couple of catches. Catch! Yeah! They ask, they ask, they get! With my relationship with Brad Haddon, he's, he's really crucial for the way I bowl. He, uh, he obviously picks all the balls that I bowl. Yeah! He knows where the ball is going and that's, it's really good to have that uh, crucial relationship where the keeper can throw a couple of points here and there and try and figure out how to get batsmen out as quick as possible. Yes! Oh, is this the different this? ways to try and work over a batsman is uh, obviously trying to figure out where his weaknesses are at ASAP and you can, you can do that by bowling your different, different balls to the batter um, by tossing them up a little bit a little bit higher and a little bit slower, but also throwing in a little few different uh, arm balls or faster balls, just to see if we can work them across the crease and then hopefully slide one back into the pads and even get them out LBW or hopefully an ideal off-spinning wicket is to um, 
do the guy in the air and bowl, bowl the batsman out through the, through the gate, which is uh, ideally the best ball for an uh, off-spinner. Good shot. Uh, yeah, it was a good challenge playing against Kevin Peterson uh, in the Ashes. Uh, he's a pretty attacking batsman. He doesn't really like, pay much spin as many uh, much respect. So uh, it was a good challenge for me, and I was lucky enough to come out and top there a couple of times there. But he's a world-class batsman, and I really enjoy bowling to someone who wants to take the game on and challenge me. So uh, he, he's definitely one batsman who can hit the ball a long way. But uh, if, as a spinner, if you can. Um, Win the, win the war and don't worry about the fight out there in the middle, it's all about the end result, that's the main thing. Out comes Peterson. Shouldn't be discouraged here, Nathan Lyon. For the kids out there, if there's some big bully of a batsman that is out there hitting sixes every second ball, you can throw your fielders out and have a little bit of a protection and really puts the ball back in their court. You don't need to change the way you're bowling. I don't mind getting hit for six, it's about the ball, that next ball you bowl. Out he comes again. The cry goes up for catch it. Harris is down there. He's out! I always try and bowl my best ball, which is uh, the best off-spinning off ball that I can bowl. The ne very next ball after getting hit for six, and hopefully I'll do the batsman. If they want to hit me again, hopefully I'll get them caught out in the boundary or stumped if they happen to miss the ball. Here he goes. He's out. He's gone. Straight down the throat of long off. And that's the end. Five for Nathan Lyon. First time in Australia, Bill. What an outstanding performance. A basic field for a right-handed batsman is pretty simple. I, I usually have uh, four on the offside, which is a slip point cover mid-off, and five on the leg side, which usually is a 45, a sweeper out there at just behind square, a bat pad nice and close for catching, a mid-wicket and a mid-on. So that's pretty, uh, pretty stock standard field for a right-hander, but you can mix up if, uh, if you're bowling really well, you can bring another catcher in off the offside. I uh, know it's different for a left-hander. See, I'm trying to spin the wall away from the left-hander. I usually have a 5-4 field for a left-hander, which is a slip, a point, a cover point, a catching cover, a mid-off, and a mid-on, mid-wicket, and a bat pad. And usually you can flirt with the idea of having a 45, which is a guy up on inside the ring, or a sweeper out there on the boundary for the left-hander sweep shot. The big thing for, for a spinner is uh, always try and have a ball in and around home. I know mum and dad will probably get sick of you throwing the ball up around the TV and please do not hit the TVs, but I always sit at home watching TV, throwing a ball in my hand, just working out different wrist positions and try and figure out different ways I can release a ball to uh, hopefully get a couple of wickets. What an outstanding performance from the off spinner, Nathan Lyon. He's improving every test match. Righto guys, that's my tips for uh, more masterclass and off-spin bowling. Uh, good luck to all the kids out there wanting to uh, bowl off-spin. I really hope there's a fair few out there and uh, look forward to seeing you guys around the summer this year. Cheers.